Today I'm going to teach you how to do double digit subtraction with borrowing. So, first thing I'm going to do is do a normal double digit subtraction problem just to show you the basics of how it's normally done. <coughs> so let's choose a number 56 minus 24. In double digit subtraction, you always start in your ones place. So you do 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. And then you use your tens place and you do 5 minus 2 would be 3. So 56 minus 24 is 32. That's your basic rules for double digit subtraction. Now when it comes to double digit with subtraction, you have to, and borrowing, it's a little bit different. So let's choose our numbers. Do 51 minus 34. Okay? So you would start in your ones place. 1 minus 4. Well, you can't take 4 from 1. So I'm going to show you how to use borrowing. We're going to do our tens column. And we're going to do a ones column. Okay? So write your tens here. You do 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then you put your ones in. And we only have one of them. Okay? So now, since you cannot take 4 away from 1, we have to borrow from our tens place. So we're going to take this 10 and place it in our ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this 10 is no longer there. And if you count it up and look, you'll see that we still have 51. It's just broken down a little bit differently. So now that we don't have just 1 in here, we have 11. So our 1 here has to change to an 11. And we don't have 5 here anymore. We have 4. So our 5 changes to a 4. Okay? And now we can do our normal subtraction. 11 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're left with 7. And then our 4 minus 3, 1, 2, and 3, and we're left with 1. So 51 minus 34 is 17. So let's do another one. We get all this erased. And let's do 70 minus 32. Okay? So now you start in your 1's, 0 minus 2. Can't take 2 away from 0, so we're going to have to use borrowing. So we do it again, 10's and 1's. We break it down. So we break out down our 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 with zero ones. So now we have to borrow to our, take to our ones place. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that 10 is now gone. Again, our numbers have changed, so we have to change the number here. So our 0 is now a 10, and our 7 is now a 6. Okay? So now we can do 10 minus 2. 1, 2, we're left with 8. 1's left, and 6 minus 3. 1, 2, and 3, and we're left with 3. So 70 minus 32 is 38. Alright? We'll do one more, just to make sure you've grasped it all. Let's do 73 minus 38. Okay? So, again, 3 minus 8. Can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow. So we use 10s and 1s. And we break it down. So we have 7 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Make that a little bit better. There we go. And 3 1s. 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to borrow, borrow this 10 to this 1's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that 10 is now gone. Numbers have changed. We have to change these numbers. So we don't have 3. We have 13 now. So our 3 will change to a 13. And our 7 is no longer a 7. It has been changed to a 6. So now we have 6 and 13. And we just do our subtraction just like normal. So 13 minus 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, leaves us with 5 left over. And then we do our 6 minus our 3, 1, 2, 3, leaves us with 3 left over. And that's 35. So 73 minus 38 equals 35. And that's how you do double digit subtraction with borrowing.